Hey guys, uh, this is Hound Dog Camping. My name is Wayne, and I'm gonna give you a kind of a quick uh, intro to the outside of our brand new Forest River 26 by Bunkhouse. Uh, we just picked this up a couple days ago. We we're trying it out in the driveway, seeing what we like, what we don't like, uh, and we're gonna take you on that little tour. Uh, so let's go. So a couple things right off the bat, we upgraded from an R-Pod, uh, which was also a Forest River product. Uh, the jack here, I love it. It's got the you know standard little light here, uh, but they also added this, if your batteries fail, you can jack it up by hand. I think that's kind of cool. You know, uh, God, I, I hope our batteries never fail while we're out on the road and we have to put it back on the truck, but stuff happens, right? So it came standard with two propane 20 pound tanks. You know, I, I, I'm the kind of guy I always wish for more. I wish I had, had 30 or 40 pound tanks, but it's got two 20 pound tanks. So nevertheless, I'm not too upset about it. We haven't boondocked enough to understand, uh, or really to figure out how long that's gonna last us. Uh, that'll be in future videos, I'm sure. Uh, one disappointment, we have the Camp Anywhere package on this camper. And it only came with one battery. It's a wet cell, deep cycle battery. Um, this camper really could use two, either lithium ion for an upgrade or maybe two wet cell batteries uh, for the solar. Um, got the cool little uh, winterization disconnect here. Uh, you can pull that out and your battery's disconnected from the system. You don't have to take your battery and put it on the shelf in your garage. I love that neat little cap they put here it takes up a little bit of the tongue space but you know probably 10 inches inside our first storage compartment we have a switch on the inside and that turns on a nice little awning light so you know it's kind of kind of neat and they need a little aesthetic uh, I don't know if it's necessary but uh, so previous models that we had seen from Forest River videos, they had a motion sensor light in here. Uh, there is no light in here. Uh, the floor seems pretty solid, looks just like the floor in the RV. Uh, the light would be awesome handy, but you can see a lot of aluminum framing that I am a big fan of. Uh, Forest River, a lot of people know they have sinking floor problems in the past. I'm, I'm really hoping with this model that's been remedied uh, so let's walk around here uh, this is a bedroom window this awning uh, 19 foot by whatever the hell feet it's super long i love it you got some rain going on it's really easy just pull down on it just like that and you got some tilt so the rain can fall off or nice sunny day you can push it back up uh, it doesn't take a lot of strength to do it. Uh, really some nice power awning. I like what they did there. On the inside, they uh, they put a switch on our command center. Let's see. That allows, uh, you know, surprisingly, a lot of illumination uh, in the dark. This thing lights up uh, the immediate area underneath the awning very comfortably. If you were cooking out some burgers or hanging out with some friends, you can see everything great. So the outdoor kitchen. I wouldn't say that I'm a proponent of it, but I like a nice little outdoor refrigerator. Put a few cold beers in there, uh, preferably something that you don't like so that your friends can have. I keep my good beer on the inside. Uh, and then you have this cool little pull-out sink. So the pull-out sink is okay. We don't use it very often. I don't think we will use it. It's got an induction cooktop, but it has this little sprayer nozzle that comes with it and a sprayer nozzle port. So for us, it's great when we're camping with our hound dogs and our hound dogs have been out rooting in the mud all day. We can rinse off their feet before we allow them to go into the camper. So kind of a neat little addition. Not, not something we'd use all the time, but it's there. So the RV is framed to have 
an, an additional TV mounted outside. So if you're tailgating or whatever, but like you can read the sign, it says you're camping anywhere. So the solar panels allow us to go wherever we want. Uh, you got a little outlet port here, GFCI, and the cable uh, inlet for that TV that you put up here. Um, this is a gas and electric water heater. Uh, I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, the RVs that we've owned in the past were all electric or all gas. Uh, so this one, which doesn't open very easily apparently, super secure. Uh, it's it's really simple. You have your gas valve, gas water heater, and there's a little switch down here that allows you to change it into electric mode. Kind of a neat little gas water heater. It looks like a lot of standard water heaters, uh, but it does have that electric element on the inside. And it is super hard to open. Um, so, uh, on this RV, we have a secondary entrance. This entrance goes into a bathroom. So if you have guests, they can go in and out without actually interrupting your living space. These steps are floating. So, Everybody knows something about floating steps who has an RV. When you walk in floating steps, the whole RV likes to shake. These are uh, somewhat pretty stable that they don't shake the RV, surprisingly. Uh, whereas the steps we have on the main entrance, I kind of skipped over those, but these are super lightweight, but they are full custom fitting to the ground. So you can, uh, Make adjustments on the bottom so if your ground's a little on level and they fit nice and, and snug but it's a great platform you can walk up and down you can leave the camper in the middle of the night and uh, your wife won't even wake up you're not gonna rock the camper so that's all from this installment we'll have another video about the interior of this camper um, stay tuned like down below and uh, if anything I can do better or, or worse, let me know. Just put it in the bottom comments. Thank you.